in this video we are going to tell you everything you need to know about our favorite car rental place on Oahu, Hui. If this is the first time to our channel, my name is Devon. And I am Irina. And we are Just, Just Be, Be Out. Out. We create informative travel videos to help you get the most out of your vacation. We have published over a hundred videos on Hawaii. Videos such as where to stay, places to go, things to do, best beaches, where to eat and what to eat. We specialize on creating valuable and informative videos. So if you want to travel to Hawaii like a pro, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification. Hui Car Share is a company on Oahu where you can rent a car on an hourly or daily basis. And the best part is that it includes everything. Gas, yup, you heard me correct. Gas, parking, and insurance. In this video, we're going to discuss in details the type of cars, how to sign up and reserve, how to access your rental vehicle and unlock it, return checklist, pros and cons of renting with Hui, and we will also give you some tips so you will get the most out of your car rental experience. Just, Just be, be out, out with, with us. us. Okay guys, we just got back and we rented the car for two hours so we can get this video shot for you guys. And that's kind of like a cool thing about Hui. It's so flexible. You can rent the car just like you would a regular car, but you could also rent it by the hour. So let's get into meat and potatoes of Hui Car Share. Hui Car Rentals have about 130 cars in its fleet and it's growing. And they actually have 50 places, locations, where you can go and pick up your car. The majority of stations are located here in Waikiki, but you can also get a car from the airport and there are a few stations in Koalina as well. Now you're probably wondering, what type of vehicles can I rent through Hui? Well, there's hybrids, there's sedans, SUVs, luxury vehicles, pickup trucks, and even minivans. Next up, let's get into how to sign up to Hui. Hui app is available on Android and iOS devices. Just download the app on your phone, click OK to use your Bluetooth, and make sure you allow notifications from Hui app. It is very important to click OK to use Bluetooth and allow to send notifications. Now create your account by using your first and last name, your email and phone number. Next, enter your driver license information. To verify your license, you would need to take the front and the back picture of your license using Hui app. Be sure to verify your license by taking a selfie with it using Hui app. And lastly, add your credit card information. You will notice that there are no cars available on the map. That is because your account has not been verified. Hui agents manually verify each account and it may take up to few days. Once your account is approved, you may start making reservations. Which brings us to the next part of this video, how to make a reservation. Once you open the Hui app, you will notice turquoise circles. Keep in mind, in this example, most locations show zero cars available. That is because we were actually trying to book this rental car just hours before actually going out with the vehicle. And of course, in Hawaii right now, there is a car shortage. It's very hard to find vehicles. And that's the reason why in this example, zeros are across the board. Simply adjust the date and time of your reservation and select the most convenient location for you. Now that we've gotten all the clerical stuff and all the technical stuff out the way, let's talk about how do you get the car? Well, after arriving at the location of where you have to pick up the car, where do I get the key? Where's the attendant? Who do I speak to? There's no one here. 
Well, that is why it is important to turn on your Bluetooth. Your phone is your key. Yes, you can unlock and lock your vehicle with the Hui app. Not only is it important for you to turn on your Bluetooth, but it's important for you to activate the notification. Why? When you get to the location and it becomes close to the time that you actually booked for, you get a notification and access to the vehicle. You'll also see an extend button there, but we'll get into that a little later. Below that, you see a huge unlock and lock button, and that is the way you access your car. You just need to make sure you're really close to the car in order to unlock it. So your Bluetooth actually works and pairs with the car. Now, I know you're excited to get on the way and get on your journey, but just like with a typical car rental, your duty is to walk around the vehicle and check to make sure there are no dings, no scratches, no dents that are bigger than a quarter. So with that being said, we suggest take a video with your phone, walk around the car completely and make sure there are no big dents or scratches. As we mentioned in the beginning of this video, gas is included in your car rental. Let me say that again. Gas is included in your car rental. When was the last time you heard that? Yes, it's a thing with Hui. You're probably wondering how the hell do I get free gas? Do I just go to any gas station and ask for Hui free gas? How does that work? Well, it's kind of sorta, but basically what it is, they give you a card, it's like a gas card. It's located in the center armrest between the driver and the passenger's seats or in the glove compartment. And all you need to do when you're ready for gas, you use that card one of the most important thing you need to remember, get a receipt. Once you get the receipt, it's placed inside the envelope where the gas card is, and that's all you need to do, free gas. Now you're returning your shared vehicle. You've done your hikes, you've done your beaches, you had it for a week, heck, you had it for a couple hours. Let's go through return checklists. Number one, make sure the gas tank is at a quarter minimal. Remember, this is not your typical car rental company, it's a car share, meaning right after your reservation, there could be another reservation, maybe even 30 minutes or 15 minutes after yours end. So just as a courtesy to the next driver, make sure you give them a little bit of gas so they can make it to the next gas station and fill up. And speaking of the gas card, you need to make sure you bring back the gas card and leave it in the same place you found it. And make sure you don't leave it in your wallet or take it with you. As soon as you use it with the receipt, place it back in the envelope and the glove compartment or the middle part between the front seats. Another part of the checklist is to make sure you return the vehicle in the same spot that you found it. There are uh, only a few lots that are available in each pickup location. So it doesn't have to be the exact same lot. Just make sure it, it has the uh, Hui logo on the parking spot that you are returning for. And it's the same address where you pick the car from. You're not allowed, by the way, speaking of that, you're not allowed to pick up the vehicle in Waikiki and drop it off near the airport. You can't do that. Where you pick it up is where you have to drop it off. And as Irina mentioned, this is a car share. So there are things that you have to be courteous about when returning the car. Return it the way you found it, meaning clean. Make sure if you ate in the vehicle, you don't leave your garbage behind. If you went to the beach, when you come back, dust out the mat, the floor mats, don't leave you know, don't bring the beach to the car. They do have a cleaning crew, but they operate on a specific schedule. So if there is very little time between bookings, there is no time to clean the vehicle after each reservation. So make sure you left the car in the original condition. And again, take a video after you finish your with your reservation to make sure it's clean and there are no additional scratches as well. And of course, simple things like make sure all the windows are up, make sure your doors are locked, make sure you turn off the engine, 
Just simple things that you would need to do when returning a vehicle. And make sure you do not leave anything in the trunk or do not forget any of your belongings in the car. And now we've reached a part of the video where we're gonna give you some pros and cons because everything can't be that great, right? There are some cons to it all as well. So let's get into that right now. We'll start with the three major pros that the company advertises. Free gas, and it's real guys, free insurance and free parking. In Waikiki, some hotels charge up to $60 per day for parking, but with Hui, the same place you rented your car from, the same spot you can use for your overnight parking. And a great thing also about Hui is that they have 50 locations. That's, that's a lot and it's growing, of course. Another pro is that you can do hourly rentals. We have rented with Hui several times just for a few hours to just drive around and do some errands around the island. Another pro is for drivers under 25 years old. Why? Because in Hawaii, most of car rental companies charge a fee for drivers under 25 25 years old not with hui it is no fee and no restrictions either and lastly another pro is for drivers 18 years old with a student id you can rent a car if you're 18. another great pro is that you can cancel your reservation up to one hour before actually picking up your car and without any charges Okay, before we get into the cons of Hui Car Share, if you're not a subscriber, take a moment to subscribe. Or if you've watched the video up to this point, at least give us a thumbs up. It helps a lot. And now for the cons. Well, as I mentioned before, they only have 130 cars in service right now, but that's growing and with time, we expect much more. Not only that, you have to return the car exactly where you picked it up from. So you cannot rent it from the airport and drop it off anywhere in Waikiki. And exact same rule applies for your overnight parking. You cannot park just anywhere if you want it for free. You have to park in the exact spot where you rented the car from. Uh, and another thing is that you can only reserve 30 days in advance. Unfortunately, not like other car rental services, you can only reserve your vehicle 30 days prior to arriving. So another con is because again, this is car sharing. If someone happens to be running late for whatever reasons, maybe traffic, accident, anything, then you're just kind of waiting in the parking lot for the car to arrive. Which brings us to tips. Tip number one, return your car in time. And that is not only to be courteous to the next car sharer, it's actually the policy. And if you are running late and you're not able to extend your reservation because of the next reservation that is going right after yours, you will be fined 150% of the original rate. What does that mean? Well, that means if you are renting a car for one week and you pay $1,000, your fee would be $1,500 on top of your original reservation. Not only that, you might get an inconvenience fee, which is additional $500. So remember in the beginning of the video, I told you when you were getting ready to start your vehicle, there's a button on top that says extend. That's where that would come in. So if you're returning your vehicle and you realize you're going to be late, you click that extend button. And if it is possible to extend and no one is waiting or has booked this vehicle, then you will be able to extend it for another half an hour, hour, whatever you need, and it would work. If not, you just got to make sure you get that car back in time. So give yourself enough time to come back. Don't try to juice every second of your car rental time. You might be getting yourself in a little bit of trouble for that. Again, you need to take in consideration island traffic. On the way to your activity, there might be no traffic. On the way back, it could be standstill. So you never know, just make sure you come back in time to avoid the fees. 
Another tip, as we mentioned before, before getting into the vehicle and taking off, be sure to take videos or photos of the vehicle 360 degrees to make sure you are covering your end, that there are no extra dings, scratches, or dents in the vehicle. And if there are any, be sure to report it using the app. Let's run through some more tips. The driver must be the account holder. There is no smoking in the vehicle. Being that this is car share and being that we are in the age of what we're in, COVID, germs, everything else, it's a good practice to bring hand sanitizer wipes. This way you can wipe down the steering wheel and the seats and what have you just for sanitary purposes. And as we mentioned before, there is a cleaning crew for Hui car share, but it's not between every single reservation. All right, guys, before this sign knocks us over, we're going to close this video out. We hope that this video has actually introduced you to a new way of traveling around Oahu. Or if you've heard of Hui before, maybe you didn't know the details, the ins and the outs, the pros and the cons, the this and the that, and we explained it to you. If you have any additional questions, you know what to do. Leave it in the comment. I mean, would you use Hui to get around the island? We did. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We go live and hang out with you and answer all your questions every single Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Standard Time, and 3 p.m. Pacific Time. And we keep you updated on everything that's going on. So you definitely have to be a part of our life. And we do giveaways. Of course, I forgot to mention that, giveaways. What have we given away so far? Kahala Signature Macadamia Nuts Chocolates, Sunset Cruise with Makani Catamaran, uh, Waimanala Sunflower Fields, two passes that comes with lemonade. And a lot more fantastic stuff is coming, guys. So definitely subscribe and join our life. So be sure to like and share this video and leave a comment on any questions you may have and we will answer it for you. Mahalo so much for watching and as usual, just, just be, be out, out with us. us.